Hello everyone, what's up? For this winter landscape, I'm going to apply a very dark and cold look. That means I want to boost the blue tones of the image, make especially the sky a lot darker and add some subtle glow just above the trees in the background and overall create a very vibrant image. For the editing I will be using Adobe Photoshop with the TK Panel plugin to create luminosity masks and I'm also doing the final editing with the Nick Collection plugin to add a few effects here and there. So let's jump into it. In the Camera Raw Editor I first want to head to the Optics tab and activate those two settings. Then let's go back to the basic stuff and for the camera profile I'm choosing Adobe Standard. You can see this will already reduce the contrast of the image and that means I just have some more control over it myself and I also think it just looks better for this shot. Then for the white balance I think I can just choose daylight here so I can keep those blue tones a bit. The base exposure of the image does look decent so I just want to drop the highlights a bit but I don't think I need to change anything further here. I do want to add some more detail to this shot by adding texture and also I'm adding clarity. Then for some more saturation I'm just increasing the vibrance. Alright, that should be enough for the base adjustments. Let's head to the local adjustments and I want to start with the sky. You can see I have applied two differently sized gradiated filters for this area. And as I said earlier, I just want to make it darker, making this shot a little more interesting. So let's just start by dropping the exposure. You can also see we get some more saturation in here when we drop the exposure, so that's pretty cool. Then I'm using the smaller gradiated filter to again just drop the exposure and get a nice gradient from bright to dark in the sky. Okay, that's it for the gradiated filters already. Looks much, much better. Then you can see I have applied a few radial filters as well. Let's start in the center. Here I think the water surface could use some more detail. So I'm starting simply by increasing the texture. Also let's increase the clarity here. And at this point it starts to look a little dark, so I'm increasing the whites as well. Okay, then I have another bigger radial filter over the whole center in the back. In this area I want to introduce some more contrast and I also want to add detail by increasing the texture. But that's it for this part. Now for the glow I have created those two smaller, thinner radial filters. And as usual, I'm just increasing the blacks and decrease the dehaze. Okay, nice. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. Increase the blacks, decrease the dehaze. And this way we can add some nice subtle glow. Nice, that's it for the local adjustments. And there's a little bit of color grading involved. I'm not touching anything in the color mixer tab, instead I'm heading to the split toning. Here I just want to apply a cold color tone to the shadows. So let's drag this point around in this range. Of course I don't want to make it too strong, so let's drop the saturation. And that looks pretty good. Finally I want to sharp the image in the details tab. And now we can finish this in Photoshop. First off, I'm duplicating the background layer by hitting Ctrl J. And now I'm using the spot healing brush to just clean up this image a little bit. For example, lots of those little branches are very, very distracting for this image. All right, I think I can also adjust the surface of the snow in the foreground a little bit because at the moment it doesn't look that pretty. So I'm just kind of filling those little dark holes.
Okay, I think that's enough for now. Now I do want to crop the image a little more. Then next I want to add some further glow in the distance. So I'm creating a new layer and switch the blending mode of that layer to hard light. Then I'm choosing the brush tool by pressing B and drop the brush opacity to around 10% to not make this glow effect too strong. Also, I'm picking up the color from back there by holding down the Alt key and clicking in there with the brush tool still active. And now I can simply add some more glow in here. Okay, nice. Also, I want to do some dodging and burning. And as said in the intro, I'm using the TK panel for this to target specific spots of the image. But first, I'm going to merge those layers by selecting them and hitting Ctrl E. Now, my goal here is to make a few areas a little brighter. And for this reason, I want to target brighter parts of this photo. You can see, especially this area in the middle of the picture is where I want to add this brightness. So this luminosity mask should do the job pretty well. So let's duplicate that layer first. And with the layer mask mode activated, I'm choosing this lights to mask and then create another layer, create a clipping layer by holding down the alt key and clicking between those two. And I'm changing the blending mode to overlay. Then I'm simply using the brush again with the foreground color set white to brighten up this area. And let's turn back up the opacity of the brush. And then I'm just painting over this area right here. This works pretty good. Let's reduce the brush opacity some more again and also paint over the foreground. Okay, nice. Let's see, I think I'm applying another new layer and again go with the blending mode overlay and just add some more overall brightness in here. Okay, I could use a black foreground color and make the sky a little darker since we cropped off the top of it. So let's just carefully brush over here. But this looks pretty nice. So let's merge everything. Now looking at the image, I think this tree line in the back and on this little island in the center could be darker. Again, I can use luminosity masks to target this specific area. So let's duplicate that layer once more, go to the TK panel. Since now I want to target a darker luminosity range, I'm of course going with the darks mask. So let's first take a look which one would fit the best here. And I think the third one does separate this tree line pretty good. So let's again activate the layer mask mode and apply the third darks mask. Now create a new layer, create a clipping layer and switch to blending mode to overlay again. Then, since I want to darken this part, I'm using black again. Let's increase the brush opacity and just brush over this area. Okay, looks good to me. All right, then let's merge everything once more. And then it's time to check the Nick Collection plugins for some final effects. And I guess there's only really one thing I want to add and that's the tonal contrast. So let's reset the settings first. And with this filter, I want to specifically target this area right here because I think a little more detail would look good here. So watch what happens when I increase the midtones. Oh yeah, we get a really nice looking surface right there. So let's apply it like this. Of course, I don't want to have this effect over the whole image, so I'm holding down the Alt key and click on the layer mask icon to create black layer mask. Then I'm grabbing the brush tool, set the foreground color to white, bring back the opacity, and then I'm just brushing over the center part. 
to reveal some detail in here. Okay, that looks really nice. Now, let's see. I want to try to add a hue and a saturation adjustment layer. And I'm choosing the blue channel. And let's bring down the lightness here. You can see this will slightly desaturate the blue tones, which works better in this case. And at this point, I want to stop the editing just to not overdo this whole process. So I hope this was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.